up, guys. Let's keep it real. Yeah. Thanks and follows where tragedy happened here with the guy, with this guy, college student. He sadly, if you see the sign, there's a lot of water there. Current happened. And he went all the way over there. there. He got slipped up by the current and sadly ended up dying at that night. We don't know if he, we don't know if he was drunk or not, but but he sadly ended up dying with other things. But I, later on ago, I was doing an EVP and I got a lot of hits. So many hits, like 10 people came through at once. Cause I asked how many people were here with us, and they said 10. I only know the two, but I'm not. I, from any circumstances, I'm not want to say their names because I want to keep their uh, privacy and identification secret for right now. I want to keep the identifications secret, but we heard about this place from locals, history, local people, you know, from a lot of other people around that at first I didn't know there was a lot of people died here, but as you see, I'm going to come back to this place because I got a lot of activity here. But I can't wait to come back here in the nicer weather where, it's, where all the snow is gone and where the falls are a little bit you now quieter. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but if you can't, I'll put the, everything that will happen to these guys in the description. Because I got two people that came to me that wanted their, my uh, somewhat easy help. Because they're the most activity people that are talking to me on the EVP. And another thing is to get back into this place, you have to walk like a mile, almost two miles, to get back into this place to get to this whole area. But it is sad that people actually did sadly die here and sadly uh, drowned. Because I know for a fact he got sucked up by the current and drowned. All the way over there, as you see, you can see all the way there. But I'm gonna move a little bit, you guys can see the whole waterfall right there. You guys can see all that. It's beautiful up here, isn't it? Yeah, it's real beautiful. It's the beautiful place in the world. I'll come back and the weather gets nice. It's all over again. You got a lot of hits. Right off the bat. It's just crazy. This is not a local spot that we were told about. It's not something you're gonna you know, hear about on Google or anything like that. This is just all local folklore. We we're iffy about it, but right off the back we had so many hits. It's, it's loud here. You can barely hear each other when we're two foot apart for the waterfalls and stuff. But I'm assuming people try to slide down that big uh, rock ledge. And there's two college towns close by. I'm not sure all the local colleges come up here and party. Uh, sadly, on occasion, you know, things happen. And, Unfortunate events take place. We don't wish that upon anybody. But it does happen. And uh, pay our respects in that way. And we just like to talk to them and tell them we're sorry. And there's people in the town thinking about them. Beautiful country up here. Too bad it snows five months out of the year though. This is quite a little hike. It's almost two miles back in the woods. Yep. Beautiful place. It's a nice place. As you guys see, as you guys see this is beautiful at all, you know. We're, we're going to keep the identities uh, 
We're not going to say the names, just out of respect to the families. Yeah, we're not. Yeah, not right now, anyway. We're not going to say their names, no nothing. We're going to keep their identities safe and secret because for the family's sake and stuff. We don't want to put their names out there. Yeah, we don't want to disrespect anybody. But this is definitely a hot spot. I was not expecting what we you know, heard. Anything else you want to say, Rad? Okay, this is going to be the end of the video today, guys. My name is Karen, and this is Keep It Real. Peace out.